All right, so Curtis apparently brought me a banger. Look at all these games where he just got out. Just some of the coolest TVs. Look at this old Trinitron right here. Don't see a lot of Zelda stuff out here, and this is like one of the boxes I've been wanting. It's a grail. It's a grail. So we got to Anna's booth and right away, there's just tons of old school video game stuff, right? Like the pre-Nintendo stuff. You got the Clecos, you got the Ataris, and normally I'm not super into this stuff, but there was such a big bulk of this stuff, like a good amount of stuff, a good amount of boxes with the games. There was really clean condition items on the table. So the morning is starting out with just some of the coolest TVs. Look at this old Trinitron right here. But look at this, dude. Let's see this TV. That is a pop-up TV. Panasonic looking super, super cool. Another one right there. And then even on top of that, look at this. Metal Gear Solid 4, PlayStation 3. There's the Intellivision. There's a lot that looks cool to me, by the way. This looks super cool to me, the Terror on tape. I love this Sega branding on the Star Trek. There's Gorf in the box, Atari 5200. There's a 2600 right here. A bunch of games with manuals in here. Very interested in that. And then under this, Ricky, was the uh, the Coleco, correct? Was the Coleco right there? So uh, here, Ricky, hold that for me real quick. I got it. And then the Coleco does have the lid for it, and it's nice. So I think I'm just gonna pull the trigger it's on this entire lot. What? Still has the, the cover on it. I know that's why. That this is nice. Okay. Nice. All right. Something about the condition on these is making me pull the trigger. Normally, I would just be like, I don't know, this isn't for me. It's not super in my wheelhouse. But again, being in this type of condition. This is something I'm gonna pick up. It wasn't even that bad of a deal. I got everything for like maybe, I wouldn't even know because of all the games and stuff. But in other words, I still feel good. What'd you buy? All right, so I bought the gold Wii controller. Uh, pink remote motion plus, plus and look at all these games where he just got how much did you pay for all these games Ricky? Pokemon Violet Bioshock collection Pokemon Shield Stardew Valley this Paper Mario sealed. Super Mash Bros. Sealed Nino Kuni Luigi's Mansion uh, how much for everything 60. Ricky? 60? But what the audience doesn't know is they're all empty <laughs> <laughs> We should have okay. we should have just left one. it. Oh, yeah, see there you go the price for just that one, right? Yeah, Good job, Ricky Tiki Tabby. We'll see. <laughs> I know, right? We'll see if that's a good job. This GameCube with Final Fantasy inside. And look at this. You got the Mario, the box, the box, the box with the Zelda, right? On the other side. Yep. Got the Zelda on it and the Furbies. I like myself some Furbies too. Wow. You don't see this lying around the swap being ever. That's sick, dude. Yep. You had the TMNT one? Okay, yeah, yeah I, I, I saw someone walking around with it. I didn't even see who it was. I just saw it. I just saw it. Juan. Oh, it's Juan? Dang, Spyro. How much are Spyros? Spyros. Spyro. 20 and 10. And then we're looking, we're looking. Lots of stuff, lots of stuff, lots of stuff. Now you may notice Ricky and I weren't jumping at the bit to buy this. That's because we already know that Curtis tried to buy it and it wasn't overpriced or anything. It was just right on market, which is good. But with stuff like that, I don't need something that's really big in my game room right now. So even though I would want it, if it was a steal, I would absolutely grab it. But at fair market, again, being a great deal, I just couldn't justify bringing it home because I don't really have the space for it right now. Okay. I didn't know about this Terror on Tape. So earlier when I got the Atari stuff, I threw in a VHS tape called the Terror on Tape. Box looks super cool. I know when I see weird, obscure horror, I've been singing weird horror praises for years uh, within the scene. It is our time. As I was walking around the swap meet, I kind of started thinking, man, I should really look up that Terror on Tape. And come to find out, Terror on Tape is a wild collection of some of like the sleaziest, smuttiest, old, dirty scenes from like shows called Vampire Hookers and stuff like that. But I will say it's not rated X, so I'm thinking it's just like dark, weird scenes from within those movies. But super cool, super unique, never seen it. All my VHS friends were freaking out when they saw it. We're like, we should look this thing up. We should at least look up what it's worth. Pretty much the cheapest available on Amazon is 400 to 1,000, and it's about the same on eBay. I feel so alive! I had no idea. Zero idea. The Terror on Tape, 
uh, I won't be keeping it now uh, because A, I know what it is. It's smut. I don't collect smut. I don't want it in my house. And B, it's worth a lot of money. There we go. All right, y'all, this is actually wild. So whoever owned this locker that our homie bought from, it is all Yoda stuff. I am talking everything Yoda that you can think of. And I already did ask, by the way, I think he's asking, you know, pretty much retail and everything, which is great is if I was collecting for it, but just so much. I mean, you could walk anywhere at this place and look at Yoda this, Yoda that, Yoda that, Yoda that, Yoda over here tons and look at this just everywhere you look you see the word yoda although chewbacca oh there's yoda in there i lied he's got yoda as well curtis quit using that whip bro i see it that's ricky when he's trying to go out on a friday night and we ask him if he's allowed to go out and his oh, wife pulls that out oh, sorry ricky sorry <laughs> let's see what else we got sorry i bumped you more over here i mean as much as i want to keep talking all i'm doing is explaining to you how much even who collected Yoda Mac Kraft cheese. I mean, to be fair, I collect the ET ones of the Mac and cheese, so. Okay. So, now we're going to the Dust Balls booth. Haven't even stopped by Dusty today, which is weird for us. Normally we see him pretty early, but apparently there's some NES games to be had. Look at this beautiful soul. Look at the beauty oh, and splendor. Out on the party. Look at the beauty and splendor in this you're space. Oh, today. I see some NES right there. I know there's more coming. I know there's more coming. Not again! Okay, I'll take it for a dollar, thanks. He said a dollar and threw it on the ground. A dollar. <laughs> take it, Ricky, grab that for a dollar. Ooh, I like this Cowboys jacket, actually. So we're at Dusty's booth, and the good old Dust Ball tells me, hey, I'm bringing you NES games that I know you need. Now, in classic Dusty fashion, how does he keep them for me? In a trash can. Dustino, besides this, the thing I just found with, hey, it's in there. What were the, what were the NES splendors you told me? You have my list, you know I need. Uh-oh, you're gonna find him in the trash. You're pulling there it, is. There it is, bro. We're back with Factor today because you know I love taking care of myself. I have to say to start off, I am officially well over a year with no soda in my life at all. So I'm taking my health very seriously. And we've been working with Factor for a while and they are so convenient in the summer, especially we're busy, we got lots to do. One of my favorite things is that you can get chef prepared meals on the table in two minutes with Factor's ready to eat meals. So you can get back to soaking in the summer sun or back to the swap meets. Also, you can skip the overpriced takeout trap. Factor is cheaper and more delicious. Get chef-crafted, restaurant-quality meals delivered right to your door. They're ready to heat and eat in just two minutes, which means more time for you. And this has to be one of my favorites is the Factor meals eliminate the hassle of prepping, cooking, or cleaning up. I simply hate cleaning up after food. Simply heat and savor the good stuff. Again, as a guy who takes health seriously and is always doing things, especially in the summer, I'm out at swap meets with friends, with family, surf, skate, all that stuff, living life, Factor cuts all the busyness of life right in half. Get 50% off your first Factor box and 20% off your next month of orders using my link. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code with your phone. Thanks again, Factor, for once again supporting this channel and keeping us all healthy. Oh, okay. Hey, I'll take that too. Oh, it's in there. Let's go. I love that it was just under a pile of junk. Too. Look at, look how he brings my NES games. Ready, Ricky? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Let's see what they are. Let's see what they are. Get ready to get reamed. Oh, no. Get ready to get reamed is the story of Dusty. And we got Wizardry, uh, Danny Sullivan's Indie Heat. We got Link, and we got James Pond Jr. Now, the Zelda I did need because I don't have the great cart version of the game, so I had to pick it up. All right, so we have... Wizardry, which is like one of those old school RPGs. I'm not talking like, you know, like the new RPGs you walk around, you can fight by you turn based. I mean, it's like text based, very old school, very archaic, but a lot of people love Wizardry. James Bond Jr., uh, side scrolling platformer, decent graphics, but I will say the game is filled and riddled with uh, riddles and puzzles. Too many puzzles in this game. It would have been a good oh, game. I thought you were going to say filth. The Adventure Link, not the, not the, Gold cart. I only have uh, the gold cart. This is the silver. Do you want to do, a, do you want an integrity test? Oh no! Please don't! Please don't! <laughs> <laughs> please don't! No, no, no. <laughs> Danny sold an indie heat. Um, if you've ever played like the arcade games of these, it's like that oh, very you know, high up top down. For I don't know if this one's you know, four this is player. You know, it's a package. You got to buy the trash can too. It's like it's all got to go together. Kind of like. 
Oh, well, I'll take them. We'll find out price later. Lord, help me be with me. Zelda! The Legend of Zelda continues. Defeat your enemies. Save the kingdom. Use your sword. The other games are not bad either. The only one that I'm not super fond of is Wizardry, even though I know there's a huge following for that game. It's just not my style of RPG. A little too old school, a little too text-based, but I know there's a huge following for that, so that's awesome. But in the end, um, I got a good deal, but then the Castlevania and the Thing on PS2, both of those games I didn't know were really worth much at all, and Dusty gave me a good deal on those. I paid him 30 on them. I don't know if I waxed him. I might have waxed him a little bit, but you know, every once in a while you gotta wax Dusty just a little because he's been professionally waxing me for a while now. He should open up a freaking storefront, freaking Riffs, Riffs Waxing Co. because he gets me a lot. But we're doing great. I gotta add him to the count now. Now we're at 525 NES games. All right, so Curtis apparently brought me a banger. I don't know what it is yet. I don't want to know yet. I don't want to know yet. Let's save a little bit. How? Uh, over a hundred dollar banger for the NES? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Over a hundred dollars? Over a hundred. And All I don't right. know how many like that range is in that. It's like how many there are. Okay. Well, I'm excited. We'll get it in a little bit, but uh, we're doing good. Yeah. Still getting NES out in the wild. Ricky, what are you looking for? Anything? What are you looking for? Today? Anything else in Today, your mind? Uh, you know what? I just want some signs. Cool Nintendo signs that I'll never find out here. <laughs> Perfect. I want that Zelda way to shoot box. for the impossible. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, you know, cracked is a big word right now in like the youth. Did you know that? No. That's oh. my son. I was like, Yo, oh, I'm yeah. cracked, bro. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. cracked I know in this that. game. I yeah, I'm like, all right. I didn't know that. And I'm like, chill. We, we kept seeing how cool this iMac box was, but we should have looked inside because nice there's book. bean bead shirts. Go ahead, Curtis, pull some out. Ricky, and I'm filming. Betty, right. oh, 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 so it's all, all boobs. Boob. Oh, wait, who's into Betty Boop? One of my grandma. Juan. Juan, I don't know if Juan still collects them though. Oh, that's true. But the old Betty Boop heaters, dude, my aunt was super into Betty Boop for years. These all, these are all. That's a sick one. Single stitch too. Uh -oh. With the dogs. Ooh. Oh, spicy mochinki. Boop boop be boop. Wow, they are all Betty Boop. Wow, every single one. Yeah, these are super old. These are heaters though. Yep. These are Gucci's. These are like 80s. You'd have to. Let me see. Look how like yeah. wild Betty Boop was, especially for being uh, such like a, like an old staple in cartoons. Totally it's always surprised how like risky and voluptuous they made her within like her dance move. That one's actually rad. Yeah, my great grandma had like a crazy baby collection. All right. All right, Curtis just pulled out a hacky sack and he yeah. looks it's like a hacky sack, a hacky sack. How many like times do you think he can hit it first try? I'm gonna say four. Okay. I'm gonna say three. And step right up, Curtis. It's Watch out behind it. you, Curtis. Don't hit the person behind you. It's gonna be oh, no. two for sure. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Curtis, let's see. One. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't come off my foot good. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. That's like, hey, don't worry, Curtis. That's how I feel when I'm like, oh, guys, watch me skate and I can't land a trick. <laughs> I feel so stupid. This is what Ricky just does at the swap meet when he's bored. He just fishes. Curtis just fishes for compliments. <laughs> Didn't even work. <laughs> Not catching it. <laughs> I've been digging through this for a while. A giant box of, like, you know, PS, or not PS, like PS3, Xbox, Xbox 360 era. But look at this. Singularity. Alan Wake. GTA, I guess I'm going through each one. Dead Space, Tomb Raider, Fable 2, Killzone 3. This was, um, what was this? Uncharted 3, Red Redemption Game of the Year, Fable 3, GoldenEye, Batman, 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 Max Payne, Bioshock, Last of Us, another Fable, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat, Dante's Inferno, Final Fantasy, Portal, Bioshock, and Heavy Rain. I told him I'd give him 120, I think that's like five bucks a game, which is actually great. So. I'll take that cash. So that was a great little deal right there. Getting all those PS3 and Xbox 360 and Xbox games for basically five bucks each, that's really a deal you can't pass up on. When you're at a swap meet and it's right here and right now, no taxes, no fees, none of that, that's always worth it. So literally we were digging through the booth. We found a joystick, like a Mortal Kombat joystick. And I'm like, oh, let's see if there's any more video game stuff in here. We pop open a box and literally there is Pokemon cards in there. Yeah, they're uh, they're in the cases, so I'm like, oh, this is pretty cool. What's Ricky doing over here? What what Ricky explain? What the bogey in the cards? What the? Okay, Ricky, tell <laughs> me what you're doing over here. So first, I saw this big Mortal Kombat tournament edition. It doesn't have the game. It doesn't have like some of the stuff, but it does have the joystick. Dude, let's see if these are first edition, 95, 98, 93. These are 98s. But you got the Venusaur Hollow. You got a Gyarados Hollow. You got. I think this is the one they gave you at the movie. Yeah, the Mew card. Yeah, yeah the Mew card. 
We got a Mew Hollow, Mewtwo's Hollow, sorry. Got a Mewtwo one, Blastoise, Clefairy, Poliwrath. Look about their 99 Pokemon, like, sorry, the year 99 Pokemon cards. And I was just flipping through them. I was like, dude, these are kind of cool. A bunch of Hollows, and then out of nowhere, I saw a Charizard and a Zapdos, and I knew I wanted them. Zapdos. Hitmonchan. I actually really like this Hitmonchan. Actually, you know, know that my favorite is Zapdos and... Zapdos well, is amazing. Yes. Articuno. That's my oh, favorite. Oh, here we go. Biggie. Biggie boy. We'll see. He wanted 300 for the lot. I do that. Uh, we, we, we had to bring Joe over because I'm not much of a Pokemon expert. Joe's our... Camel Crew Joe is our Pokemon expert. If anyone knows, he is the expert on Pokemon for us. Ricky and Joe have been talking about this Pokemon deal for like 30 yeah. minutes. Like figuring out if Ricky wants to do it or not. He's asking 300 for everything, and Joe's like a genuine, really smart Pokemon guy. That's like his thing. And Ricky's just not very smart in general at all. I mean, look at the guy. So they're figuring it out over there. I, I, I see Ricky over there. It's been a while. I see him counting money. Can you see him? He's counting money over there. I think something's happening. Maybe they're splitting it. There's some motion and play over there. I'm excited to get Ricky's play-by-play -play when he gets back. Oh, money's out. Money's exchanging. Money's exchanging. It's happening. So he wanted 300. Joe said that actually wasn't a bad deal, but I, I, I can't pay 300. He's like, he's like, I feel more comfortable if it was like 200, 250. So I offered him 200. He countered back with 250. I took it. All good. I'm happy. Curtis said he wants to run the podcast like this. You know how lazy we would get if that was our chair. It's too I mean, comfortable. <laughs> yeah, but we get enough comments like you're in uncomfortable chair sets, but I'm like realistically, they're, they're not, not that nice. bad. No, they're not that bad, and they feel. You know, they fill the room good. These are sick, by the way. Look at these seats, dude. Those Pepsi Cola seats? Yeah, as long as we're not sitting on those seats. Shoot, okay. those are nice with this Goodyear with no traction. Let's go, a little burnout. Uh-oh, what are they looking at over here? I see the boys looking. Oh, hello. Let's go look. Yo, this is a switch light, and we mean that literally because it's empty. Thanks, man. Curtis has went back to look at that uh, Mario slash Zelda treasure chest. I don't know if he's actually buying it or not though, but they've been looking at it for a minute. I'm gonna go over there and see if he's actually, he's come here back and forth, right? he's come here back and forth like six times. Hey, yeah. do you forget that we have a camera on a show? What? What's happening right well, now? Hey man, where were you? <laughs> you, were, you were over there for a minute. You're the next Ricky bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, shows don't work when there's no camera. All right. <laughs> What'd you get? Right. You got this bad boy. You got it with Spyro? Yeah, dude. Dang, this, so this is one of the cleaner ones I've seen though, dude. I know. Let me see what I got. I'll probably have to go get you more cash. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> how, how to do it. Talk to me, Curtis. How to do it, man. I don't see a lot of Zelda stuff out here, and this is like one of the boxes I've been wanting. It's a grail. It's a grail. I did pay real retail on it, but it's so dang clean, dude. It is one of the cleaner ones I've ever seen. A lot of times, too, when you open the inside, they're pretty nasty inside. The water damage and all that stuff. And, you know, a little bit of scuzz on top, but, like, it looks awesome, man. So, I'm happy with it. Huh? All right. So, I feel pretty good. I got these for a great deal, too. So... Three games we needed for NES, but check this out. We got Galaxy 5000, which is almost like kind of like a RC Pro-Am, but not as, not near as good. RC Pro-Am, dumbed down, not near as good at sound effects or graphics. We got Amagon, which is like Contra meets Wonder Boy, but not good. You would, like, when you first look at it, you might be like, oh, that looks decent. It's a little side-scrolling run-and-gun platform, but nothing to write home about. Honestly, probably one of the most fun games in the bunch by Sammy, you have Ultimate Basketball. It's a lot like Double Dribble. Funny enough, it might even have better cutscenes than Double Dribble. Like even when you go shoot, you know in Double Dribble, you, you dunk a ball and it shows the dunking scene. In oh, yeah. Ultimate Basketball, even when you shoot like a three-pointer, it'll show a shot from behind of you shooting the ball and then throw a, show a cutscene of it going in. So it has a, even not a better game than Double Dribble, but shockingly may even, may even have like a little bit more love put into some of the games. Oh yeah, so, that's the one that says get the puck, right? That's Blades of Steel, Ricky. That's a, that's a hockey game. This is not soccer. Okay, so we are at 528 NES games. How's that feel to be at 528? That's kind of insane. When did we start this? Like two months ago. Really? Yeah. Dang. So, something like that. We couldn't even get anywhere near this when we were doing the original. <laughs> 
It feels good. I feel like it, feel, it feels good to be at 528. Also, we have to remember, Curtis said he brought us a game that's over $100. Oh. So we will hit 529 no matter what, and it will be a banger. Hopefully more, though. There still could be more out there. Curtis, I'm expecting that game soon. The banger. Nope. nope. I'm paying. It's going on eBay, dude. Sorry. I'm paying you. I'm not getting it for free. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you retail. All right, all right, all right. All right. What do we got here? A booth full of toys and games. Our homie Brian. We got Bomberman and Bomberman 2. I'd be interested in these puppies right here. Some wave birds, a couple wave birds. Also, this homie watches the show right there. Both of these guys, let's go. I appreciate it. And this guy doesn't even watch our show. It is? It's a pretty good show. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take pretty good. I'll take pretty good. Pretty great. I'll take it. Oh, so he does have some wave birds. Cause he had a little bit of cleaning up, but they have the receivers. Uh, Xbox, we got the series, but need the topper on this boy right here. And then some other ones. I'll start peeking around. Ricky just picked up a shirt right here. Let's see what it is. Oh. Kick drugs out of, okay, that's actually a fire statement too. Like you could just imagine the branding when they were coming up with that, you know. How about kick drugs out of America? <laughs> not today. Yeah, not today, yeah, drugs. Nineteen ninety. Want drugs while roundhouse kick to the face? Of the Absolutely. <laughs> they don't want none of that here. Hello, I'm Chuck Norris, and I'd like to tell you about the Kick Drugs Out of America Foundation, which I started in August of nineteen ninety. He also got a Game, Game Boy, Boy Player. Player. The clean one. This is a clean one. That actually is a really nice one. Like, wow. Game Boy slot looks great. Yeah. Couldn't say no. You can't say no to the Chuck Norris shirt. Sure. Come on, that's probably the coolest thing of the day. Seriously. Worst case, my kids will wear it. They, I'll, I'll make them wear they it. They absolutely better wear that. <laughs> Although this day's been great, we want to see what the game is Curtis brought. He said it's a banger. I'm very curious. I want to add a banger onto the list today. Even though we did get some really good NES games today, let's get a banger. I want it. I need it. What could it be? Could it be Power Blade? Could it be Ninja Shimapi Puppy? Now let's just find out. Something I really enjoyed last time was trying all the NES games I got. How'd that feel? Uh, something I really enjoyed last time was trying all the NES games I got. So I'm gonna try them out in a little bit after we get this next game from Curtis. All right, I'm gonna let you do the honors, my friend. Ooh. This is a biggie. A biggie so, biggie? Biggie biggie. Now, is it a fun game or is it not a fun game? Let's see, I wouldn't know. Oh. <laughs> I, was like, I, I didn't look up any of the gameplay on this. I just know like that's a, it's a big title. I got it for a really good uh, price, so Ooh. I was like, I'm giving you the, the same price that I bought it for. All right, let me see it. All right, maybe you want to hold it oh, then? Yeah, Let's yeah, see. I got you, I got you. Let's see. It is, I can already see it. It's Color a Dinosaur. Um, Curtis, I will say it's definitely not a fun game, but it's a game I actually have put some decent time into online. It's a pricey game. Look at this. So it's basically the the most basic version of Mario Paint where all you can do is select different colors and patterns and click on it. And yes, you click on it with like, move your D-pad almost like a mouse and color. You, The color game isn't lying. You're coloring a dinosaur and that is it. Curtis is in good condition too. I know, I know. Think, what do I owe you? 85. That's what you paid, 85? Yep. All right, I mean, yes, sir. I, all right, you sure you don't want more? Nope. All right, 85 doll hairs. Well, Ricky, you don't want it? Uh, here we go, 85, dude, thank you, color a dinosaur, you know? Not the funnest. I think I owe you, so yeah, there you go, keep it. No, stop. <laughs> Thank you, dude, I appreciate it. Yeah. And this puts us at the total for the day, 529 NES games on the count. All right, back home now, but check this out. This is what I have to show you. Our our pile is, uh, has gone wild. If you subscribe to the second channel, Pixel Plus, we're posting a raw video, or may have posted it. We bought $5,000 worth of stuff from Dusty, and we still have half of it left. I mean, as you guys can see, just a ton of stuff. Rogue Trip, Deadpool, Need for Speed, Soviet Strike, GTA, Xenosaga, 1080, Standees, Jack 3, Sealed Bioshock, all that jazz box genesis's nintendo switches all this is full Ooh. this is all stuff we have to sell 
But I just realized I also have this stuff from last week. Look at this. All these games I never tried out. Mickey Mouse, Quotade, Mario Bros., uh, Solomon's Key, Alpha Mission, RBI, Adam's Family, Eight Eyes. So I'm going to test all these two and the other ones. There's Color of Dinosaur. But then we got the NES games that we got today. Taffy, say hi to the internet. Taffy, Taffy. All right, squad, we have 20 NES games to try. I'm gonna hope at least 15 of them work without me having to clean them. I will bring some cleaning supplies as well, but I'm guessing 15 of these, 15 are gonna work is my hope. If, if they don't, um, we'll get clean them and make them, make them work out. But let's take bets down below, I say 15. Also, my dog is being very loving right now. Thank you for being loving, my little girl. You're so beautiful. I love you so much. You're such a good puppers. It's time to try some NES games. First is going to be Color a Dinosaur. And I have to say my daughter really quick just was like, Dad, what shoes are those? What are you wearing? Did you buy new slides? I've been rocking these shoes, not sponsored, called Avos. Uh, they're super rad. I've been wearing them for a while. And what they're for is they're for like athletes or anybody who has feet pain, leg pain, skaters, surfers, runners, hikers. And it comes with different size balls. Bro, what did you just say? That you can wear right here that kind of is supposed to mimic when you rub, you know, athletes will rub their foot on like a tennis ball to kind of loosen up, what is it called? Footer plancher placia, foot placia, planchmosis thing, something, footer plantation, plant versus zombie. But I bet you wear these kind of for like five to 10 minutes a day. Again, not sponsored. And they will just kind of rub out and you can like wear them in different positions, rub your foot right there. I just wear them and rock them like 15 minutes a day, straight up, blank, 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 blank. When I do my business, do my day, genuinely, genuinely been helping me. Avo, so I'm gonna leave a link down below just to be cool because I don't get anything from it, nothing. It's not sponsored. Just totally thought I should show you guys because it's genuinely been helping me like in my day to day. First up, color a dinosaur. Did Curtis sell me a working game? First try. Yep. Oh yeah. Yay! Everybody can color a dinosaur. I can't wait to color a stegosaurus. Oh, gameplay, graphics. Wow, such. Next game. Bring in the cart. Might as well bring in the whole cart. Hopefully I don't have to clean any games because I'm not in the mood. All right, next game. We're gonna go quick. Alpha mission, we're gonna go one by one. We're gonna go quick, we're gonna hit it and quit it. Baby, we won't stop. Alpha mission, boom, works. Just like that, just like that, just like that. Eight Eyes, I'm hoping works because Eight Eyes is a great game. I'd actually love to show you a little gameplay of this one. Come on, first try. All right, here we go, start stage. Let's a go. Look at that. How Castlevania is this, guys? How Castlevania is this? Oh, do I go in here? How do I go in here? A few minutes later. Don't judge me, guys. I feel really dumb. I couldn't figure out how to go in the door. I am very dumb. It's been a while, all right? But look at that. It's like Castlevania, but not as good music. Again, tax and game. I mean, come on, look at even the way you walk upstairs. Is that Castlevania or not? Great game, definitely worth getting. So eight eyes, a little, a little sleeper here. Oh, baby, we're good. Mystery quest, mystery quest, mystery quest, mystery. Oh, we gotta clean it. Dino Wars. Oh, another one that needs cleaning. Poopy Scoopy. Man, guys, that one I got to work, but I almost wish I would have looked before because I shoved this in my Hyperkin, and I wish I didn't, the Retron HD, but oh well, it's working now. Great little music too. Just being honest, Mechanized Attack uh, for sure is gonna count as one that didn't work because it was filthy inside and I did not want to stick it in the Hyperkin. So let's see now, after I just spent a lot of time cleaning it, like probably a little too long, it was really bad. Actually, guy, I have a feeling this isn't gonna work. Um, oh, it works, okay, phew! I'll take it. I'll take it. Captain Planet and the Planeteers. We got a working one. We got a working. Amagon. 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 
Amagon! Look at those sprites, by the way. Ugh. Not, 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 not my favorite. I'll show you guys what I was talking about. Earlier, how I said it's like Contra mixed with Wonder Boy. Watch, I'll put the camera down right there. Let me, there we go. There we go, let's let's get this puppy centered. There we go. You see what I'm saying? It's like not good, but not horrible, but like Contra mixed with Wonder Boy. Good enough, I guess. Let's zoom in for you. Oh, wow, I wasn't, okay. Nobody saw that, nobody saw that. Uh, ultimate basketball, first try. Let's go, ultimate basketball, thank you. Galaxy. 5,000, will it work? Come on, let's go, let's go. No, so close. How about now? How about now? There we go. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Since when is, oh, there it goes. Look at that, guys. Like I said, RC Pro-Am mixed with a little space, but not as good as you can see. Whoa, I forgot how to go in this thing. It's been a while. Oh wow, you just kind of hold the direction. Yep, you just hold the direction. A little bit of shooting, a little bit of jumping. Not that bad, not that bad, not that good either. I'd say it's right in the middle. So, yep. Come on, James Pond. Let's go, first try. By the way, Ricky dropped this face down, by the way. And the label's so nice, that still looks good. Okay, I sure hope this one works. First try, The Adventures of Link. That beautiful intro music. Oh yeah, here it comes. The beat's gonna drop. Wizardry, Knight of Diamonds. Yep, first try. Again, this game is not for me. This is not my style of game, y'all. There's so much of this going on. Oh, I can't do it, I cannot do it. Last of the loose games, Danny Sullivan's Indie Heat. Will it be heat or will it be beat? I don't know what that means, but we're gonna pretend that it was cool and here it comes. It's gonna work, first try. They see me rolling, Danny Sullivan. He's got them shima, mo poppies, mo ninos, mo gop. My name is A-A-A-A-A. Yes, my name's A, just go. Buttons and stuff and things and diamond ring. Okay, I'm not having time to play. I know a time right. Oh, maybe I do want to play. Maybe I do want to play. Maybe I do. I couldn't resist because it's Danny Sullivan. I'm in first place, I'm red. I'm hitting the walls and somehow I'm still in first place. And he goes, Riff goes right. To the left, to the right again. Right, straighten out, Riff. Oh boy, yes, straight away. At the bottom, that's it. I'm the king, that's it. There's no better player in the world. Look at that, didn't even stop for a pit stop. Oh no, I should have. Oh no, oh no. Look how slow I'm going. Oh gosh, oh no. Yellow's coming in hot. I should have went for the pit stop. Oh my gosh, please. I, oh, I'm not letting yellow by. I'm blocking him, I'm blocking. Pit stop, pit stop, pit stop, pit. I can't do it. I'm too far behind now. I give up. Now I'm cracking. Oh, I don't have time for this right now. Ladies and gents, my projection could have been accurate. Four of the games so far have not worked first try. So I'm gonna try those box games now that are in here. And if, if only one of them doesn't work, then I was completely accurate if one of them doesn't work. So, cause I said five out of the 20 wouldn't work. So all I need is one more not to work first try. And I guess the perfect number. Up first, RBI basketball. I've never even tried a, a Tengen game on a Hyperkin. Well, it worked first try. Next. Hey, Solomon. Solomon's key. The key to getting this game to work first try is a gentle power push. Now watch it just fire right up first try. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm over here now. Mario Bros. Five screw. Five screwy Louie. First try, I have faith in this one. There it is, first try. <laughs> Mickey Mouse Capade, one of the fun ones of the group. So two games left to try. Mickey Mouse Capade and Zelders. Here we go. <gasps> it did not work first try, which means if Zelda does work first try, I guessed exactly that five games wouldn't work. I still gotta clean this though. <laughs> Good job, Mickey! I got it to work! Only one game remains. The Legend of Zelda, the original. If this game works, Riff, will then be correct, with five games not working out of the 20. But if the game doesn't work first try, not only will it be an embarrassment, it'll be an embarrassment to Riff's ego. Will this game work first try? No! 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 <laughs>
Oh! Oh no, it didn't work. First try, son of a Zelda. I trusted you. <laughs> Well, as sad as I was that it didn't work first try, here in Zelda fire up after cleaning it, getting it to work. I am so excited. These are the moments. Ladies and gentlemen, just remember your childhood. Let it set in. That, that feeling of the first time you played these things or the second time you recollected them, whatever it was. These are those moments. Relish in them, enjoy them, because these are the reasons it's all worth it. The fun in the games, but just this.